All right, welcome everybody to the first segment of the differential equation course. Um, before actually we go ahead and solve any differential equation, I want to talk about the basic definitions and the terminology so everybody is on the same page. Okay. Um, obviously, this part you may understand that the, if I have a differential equation, as the name recommends right over here, right, it says differential. So I'm kind of going ahead and solving various equations that contain derivatives. So basically that's the whole thing about it. So the differential equation is I'm going ahead and then solving this, this particular equation. But first we have to talk about um, some basic definitions. Well why don't we go out and write an official definition of differential equation. So let's go out and write a definition. An equation containing derivatives of one or more. I will talk about this one or more dependent variables. I'll talk about the dependent variables too with respect to one or more C symmetric independent variables. So sometimes I'm not 100% uh, sure everybody knows the difference between those two. This has nothing to do with differential equation course, but if I have like y of x, it's a function of f of x, right? You know, very, very common thing that we uh, encounter. So this is called the independent variable. Okay? And this is called the y basically. It's called the dependent variable. Now why do I call this dependent variable? Well because look at it. This y is a function of x. Right? So it depends what my value of x is. Depending on how this f of x is defined, if I put x is equal to 1 versus x is equal to 5, my value will depend on that number that I insert. Okay? Okay, now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and look at the different type of uh, differential equation. I will classify them by different orders, type, etc. But first let's start with the type. So let's write over here. Classification of DE. So you kind of get the idea that from this point on I'm going to keep calling it DE as opposed to writing every single time differential equation by type. That's the first thing I want to talk about. You're kind of familiar with it. There's actually nothing new in here. Okay. The first is called the ODE. So it's the ordinary DE. And I also have something called PDE. So this is the partial differential equation. Okay, So the way that I differentiate these two is looking at this independent variable. The number of independent variable will determine that. Okay, If I have like a table over here, number of independent variable um, over here is going to be one. I will have one single independent variable for to call it to be an ODE. And then if I have two or more independent variable, then I will call this the partial differential equations. Okay? In nature, both has applications. I can have ODs, I can have PDs, and during the co this course I will solve both of them. Okay? One thing I want to highlight before giving some examples is I only clip it out by independent variable, and that's right over here, right? So it's the x if you go with the conventional variable, so this the x will be the independent variable. Okay? But I don't specify anything with the dependent variable, the dependent can, variable can be multiple and I still call them ODE. Let's go ahead and give some examples from the ODEs. Let's start easy. dy dx minus 2y is equal to e to the power of 2x. So don't get uh, confused. I have a y over here, that's a y over here. So what is the independent variable over here? I'm going to look at this. This is the x. Okay. So 
this can have y over here, so that's not going to be a problem for OD. Okay. So as I have one independent variable that I have, I have over here, I will go ahead and call this an ODE. Okay. Or I can do um, a little bit more fancier than that. X cube, as an example, plus let's say two times dy dx, you can make it as complicated as you want, but let's say minus five, six y is equal to zero. Okay, so we will solve this, these two equations in the upcoming segments, but what I do over here, okay, this is a bit more trickier, now I have two of these differential equation signs or dy dx type of um, expression, but look, both of them, if this is x, this is also x, so I can still call this an ODE. Okay? And if this was, for instance, t time, instead of this x, if I have time, then that will be a PDE. Okay? So this is still an ODE. Okay, let me go one more step higher than this. Let's call this, uh, I kind of gave a hint about it when I was talking about it, but this is sometimes throws students off. And I did it on purpose to kind of confuse you a bit. Is this an ODE or PDE? You see I have y and x. But now there's a t. So sometimes students call this a PDE. That's not quite right. Um, because you're not really following the rules. When I go up over here, you see that I look at the independent variable. And okay, I don't panic. I look at the independent variable. I have a t over here. Huh, I have the exact same one t. So I have only single independent variable. So this is called an ODE. But do I have one dependent variable? No, I have two. Y is in it dependent variable, x is a dependent variable. That's going to be quite all right. Let's give examples from the PDE side. So we're on the same page and okay, so I'm going to write an equation that I'm very familiar with because I use it in my research field. So what is this is if I have a one dimensional rod, okay, I have a single rod, right, circular cross section full of, uh, let's say some metal, right, and this is actually called the diffusivity. This is beyond the scope of this, uh, you know, OD versus PD conversation, but I just want to highlight what I'm doing over here. So look over here, this is U, right? And this is U. So how many independent vari dependent variables do I have? I have one. What about the independent variables? I have X and T. For this reason, I'm going to call this a PDE. And I want to highlight that this is called the heat equation. And I will go ahead and give another example, um, but we will actually solve these equations that I'm illustrating towards the end of this course. But here is what looks. Del x squared plus del square u del y square is equal to del square u del t square. Hmm. So this is the wave equation. And the c is called the speed of sound, right? So, but look here. I have u, u, u. Okay, so the number of dependent variables is 1, but when I look at the independent variable, that's x, y, and t. So this is also p, d, e, and this is called the wave equation. I think you get the point of what I'm trying to establish over here. Okay, so I can give much more examples from real life and as well, but I'm going to stop over here. Okay, do you want me to give you a really easy way to differentiate those two? Maybe you've already seen it. Do you see there's a difference over here? This is a regular derivative sign. This is a partial. What's the first um, word? A partial differential equation versus ordinary or regular. You see? So the symbols are different. Okay? And I want to highlight for a second over here. What are the differences between those two from calculus? You know this, or you should know this. So basically, if I have it, this is what dyx is. This is the, the regular derivative, okay? On the other hand, if you remember the partial, um, the partial means it's a function of multiple independent variables. It can be x, well, obviously it needs to be x. It can be z, it can be time, whatever. I can have multiple independent variables. But the point I'm making over here is I have x over here, and this is the only independent variable over here. This is the independent variable. You can see there are multiple independent variables, plural. So that's how you differentiate those two, ODE and PDE.
Thank you for watching the segment.